Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi Wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabit fillah As we mentioned, the first part, or the first condition for having our deeds accepted in Islam, it's very important that we mention the second, and that is mutaba, following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Allah subhanahu wa taala says, "Fi kitabi al kareem wa Allah wa atiyu rasul." Allah subhanahu wa taala says, and follow Allah or obey Allah and obey his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha sami'tu rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul man ahtata fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fu rad wa fi riwayah li muslim man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fu rad in the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said that I heard the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, whoever innovates in this affair of ours will have it rejected. And in another narration that was related in Sahih Muslim, whoever does an innovation or an innovation in this affair of ours will have it rejected. Ahabatifillah, innovation is the opposite of ta'a. And when we talk about innovation in regards to the deen, we're talking about those things which have to do with ibadah in worship. For example, someone coming up with a new aqidah that is, is away from what, what the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam expounded in the Quran and expounded in the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So other than the Wahi, the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or likewise it could be in Mu'amalad, it can be in uh, actions, actions and deeds that are acts of worship of course, related to some new uh, fiqh which is, uh, which contradicts the, the, the uh, foundation of the religion. Or is short of it or it goes beyond it it transgresses beyond, beyond those bounds so following the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is what we're ordered to do by Allah and whenever Allah commands something in the Quran that means it's an obligation unless there's other evidence in the Quran or the authentic sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which illustrates that that command is no longer an obligation that it's either abrogated or it's gone from being an obligation to something which is recommended or to something that is uh, disliked or what have you. So this is a part of following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we have to understand that, that we have to strive our best to gain the understanding and follow the commands of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why is they gain the understanding? Meaning we have to have the correct understanding of the Sunnah. Because you'll find every group and sect saying that they follow the Quran and the Sunnah. No one's going to reject that. Actually, there are groups, there are some extremists, the Quraniyun and groups like this who say they only follow the Quran. And other people who are just usually completely uh, so ignorant of their religion to say uh, statements like this, some of the modernists and some of the others that have, you know, some contemporary liberas, liberalism where they believe that they can make the religion in uh, based upon their desires. Oh, the hijab, it means this. Oh, the hijab, well, I don't have to wear it. Uh, that's something that's cultural, this and that and the other. Whatever the case may be. The point being a habit is that these are bid'ah that have fallen uh, outside the fold of Islam. Meaning those bid'ahs are not from Islam. And bid'ah 
is of two types. And we'll talk more extensively on some other occasion, but there's bid'ah that takes you out of the fold of Islam, and there's bid'ah which does not take you out of the fold of Islam, which is just sinful. But all of it is muharram. All of it is prohibited. Going back to the importance of the sunnah, habitifillah, that in order to get our deeds accepted, we have to follow, and we have to pray, and we have to do all of our actions and our understanding in Islam in accordance with how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commanded us in accordance with the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah that the Salaf of Salih Ridwan Allahi Alayhim that they were the best in understanding the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because they were the closest to him the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een were there when revelation was being revealed so their understanding is not like our understanding their practice is not like our practice. They are the best of this nation. And the Prophet ﷺ said, The Prophet ﷺ said, The best of you is those people, uh, is those of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Meaning the Sahaba, Tabi'een, Wutba'a Tabi'een, Radiallahu Ta'ala Mijma'een. And so this is very important for us to gain this understanding if we want to know and practice our Islam and have our deeds accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.